briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1985, a case known as Elbishbeshi v. Franklin Institute raised questions about the nature of defamation. The Franklin Institute defendant had terminated the plaintiff's employment in their nuclear structural mechanics unit, citing a lack of cooperation. The plaintiff viewed this as a defamatory statement and sued the defendant for wrongful discharge. The defendant then filed a motion for partial summary judgment, which the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania ultimately rejected. The plaintiff's job entailed reviewing plans for nuclear power plants submitted to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and submitting proposals. Their supervisor found flaws in these proposals, leading to a strained working relationship. The plaintiff's employment was terminated on April 17, 1984. The court denied the defendant's motion for partial summary judgment because the statement citing the plaintiff's lack of cooperation could potentially be defamatory. Furthermore, it held that punitive damages could be awarded in a wrongful discharge case if the employer acted with malice. This case highlights that harming another person's reputation, even when shared with only one other person, can be considered defamation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.